Hello. In one of my previous videos, I I um, showed you how to make a Drupal sub theme, and I said that I'd show you how to use Firebug to edit the sub theme and to change the appearance of the sub theme. Now, this is what we're going to end up with. It's um, it's Drupal Bartic theme. We've made a sub theme for it in one of the other videos, um, and we're going to change things like this background colour, this background, uh, these little corners, we've added some little rounded corners and changed colours and floated this image, things like that. So, first of all, if you've not seen the other video, if you've got a sub-theme, you need a base theme and a sub-theme. Now, sub-theme, th this sub-theme that I showed you how to make has got almost nothing inside it, which is what makes it so good. Uh, you've just got these these um, images and files here, and you've got this, this CSS directory with a single file inside it, just that. Now, what's in here at the moment is just this. That's all that's in it at the moment. These are just some colours I put there for my own convenience, they're in um, comments so they won't show up. Right, so what we want to do First of all, I'll delete the, the information in the sub-theme, in the CSS file, and go back to what, what we're going to start from. So, if we delete all this, save it, don't worry about these, these are just uh, some colours I've put there. I'm going to use them later on, but you don't need to have them there. Right, now when we refresh this page, there we go, we're back, back to the plain Drupal site. Right, we'll have to crack on because I uh, I want to get this done in 15 minutes so I can put it on YouTube. We'll choose a different page because that one... How's about that one, eh? Right, what we want to do first, I want to add some... Oh, I'll tell you about... Um, uh, Firebug. We're going to do this using Firebug. Now, Firebug is a free add-on for Firefox. Uh, so, if you um, install Firebug in Firefox, and you'll get a thing like this. To open up Firebug, just click this little bug icon, or click F12, and it will open. Once you've installed Firebug, that little bug, or F12, will open it up. Press F12 on your keyboard. So, first of all, we're going to select something to change so this little icon here this square with um, uh, an arrow inside it is the um, element inspector button it, when, when we click that we can then find something on the page to select I want to select this area and change the background colour now your firebug won't keep disappearing like this I've got to set it up like this so I can use the recording software yours won't disappear so we've, we've selected that area and now over here on the right hand side at the top of the list is this one sidebar content and that's a class and a div that's controlling this area so where that says 720 there in that value just click it then press tab on your keyboard and then we can type in background colour and I'm going to make it a dark green there we go now when we've done that click not in here but click at the side there and it will rearrange itself then right click over this area here and click copy rule declaration now you need to go into your style sheet file and just paste it click save we'll go back now we'll refresh the page and see if it's uh, if it's saved the changes yep it saved the changes if it doesn't save the changes if you're using caching in Drupal um, go to um, I think it's config configuration um, performance caching um, and and clear the cache so that it's not remembering old data. Just clear the cache. 
right we'll, we'll crack on and then we'll be able to get it all done in time if we're lucky next I'll do there's some text here and we can only just see it so I'll change that to white so open firebug again click the select a button now we've got to try and find the element of that that looks like what we're looking for click that node content that sounds good click inside the last value here click press tab on your keyboard and type in color and we want it to be white yep that looks like it now click don't click on top of any of these click at the side here let it rearrange itself then on these here you've got to right click over the top of these so just put your cursor there right click copy declaration back to the style sheet and paste it in and save right yep that's worked we'll change the color this background color of this sidebar so click this uh, element inspector button click the area we want to use look over here sidebar block that sounds like what we're looking for and it's already got a background color but we're going to change that background color to a dark orange yep that's what we wanted click over in the corner here again on top of there click right click copy rule declaration and put it in our style sheet there we go save it go back to Drupal right we'll put some rounded corners in here just to add a bit like these have got rounded corners we're going to add those to here and here so first of all let's see how they've done it in this uh, in this um, theme so we'll have a look at their code and we'll copy it that's a rounded corner and what does it say border radius now these have got top and uh, top left and top right we want all four borders so we'll just have border radius 8 pixels so we need to go back to our style sheet and find this and this and add border radius 8 pixels so one side by content the content area that's what we want border radius 8 pixels and we'll do the same or we'll copy it and we will put it in the sidebar just the same so now if we look it we will have click save the border radius on here and here let's update it and see yep got the little rounded corners there and there right what next well oh I thought what we'll do we'll do the header the, I'll show you how there's, a, there's something interesting about the header so right there we go header now we've got this there's quite a lot of this it's a bit jumbled up here a bit of a squeeze to see what's going off so if you click one of these links these blue things at the side there are links where it says line 24 line 111 the, the links so we'll click that and it's opened up here you see so this is what we want this header background color we're going to change these this is why I left those numbers uh, the, the colors the hexadecimal codes for the colors in the other in the style sheet so right click copy roll declaration back to the style sheet paste it in there so the background color I want as a dark orange so background color dark orange and then this linear gradient it'll fade from top to bottom this is the um, the, the code that makes the, the linear gradient so 
what we'll do, I'll start off with a dark one at the top, dark orange at the top, and I'm going to have the light orange at the bottom. There we go. Click save. And we'll go back and see if it's worked. So now this should be orange if we're lucky. Oh, there we go. And you can see it fades from top to bottom. Now what shall we do? How long have we got left? We've got about four minutes. So we'll change we'll change that there. Um, so back to Firebug, click the element inspector button. We want to change this heading here. And there we go, H1 page title, that sounds like what we're looking for. We'll click in the last value there and press the tab on your keyboard. And then you can type in um, colour, which is what we want. And we want it to be white. Yep, there we go, it's gone white. So now click away from here and it rearranges itself. And when it's done that, you can then right click on top of here, copy rule declaration, paste it into the style sheet. Click save and we'll make sure it works. Refresh the page and bingo it works. Right, we've got two minutes left so I'll just show you how to change this. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll show you how to change that. There's a bit of a gap there and we, we want it to be the same height. So all we do is select a button hover over until you find what looks like it might be the thing we're looking for. Now that looks like it could be what we're looking for. I'll just confuse now. Confuse now that highlighted and I didn't need it to be right. Right. What we're looking for is that gap there. Up there. So I'll click that. And over here it says padding top 10 pixels. So let's make that zero. Oh, it's worked. So click outside of the area right click on top of there, copy it in row declaration and put it in our style sheet. Save our style sheet and let's go back and see if it's worked. Yep that's worked. Now I'm going to have to leave it there. Oh! <laughs> I've got you some slides as well. Let's have a look. There we go. What you want to do uh, Slow, stop the video as it comes to these slides and then um, just read them one at a time you'll have to stop the video as it goes along I'm, I'm nearly run out of time if it's more than 15 minutes I can't believe it's on uh, YouTube so stop, stop the thing as it comes to each slide stop the video as it comes to each slide and read each slide Oh, well, thanks for watching. Bye for now. I hope you pop back soon. See you later.